Marvel Studios has officially settled their lawsuit with Scarlett Johansson, meaning we can once again talk about Secret Wars for whatever that's worth and whatever might be connected to that lawsuit. Because we did learn when that lawsuit hit that the Russo brothers, the previous directors of the Avengers films, walked away because of uncertainties and they were waiting to renegotiate with Marvel again once the lawsuits were settled and they could be guaranteed safety. Well, now that that's out of the way, it looks like they might be back in the discussion. Because tangentially, nobody knows anything, but let's be real. This is exactly why Disney wanted to get this lawsuit over with and get back to business as usual. If you want my full take on this, refer to many of the videos where I talk about the scoopers pretend they know something scoops, but they won't spoil something else because the surprise. So... You know, questionable motives at best, but, you know, benefit of a doubt because we can all see what's going on here. So anybody could come up with this conclusion and with this end result being exactly what happens. Disney was put on public blast by Scarlett Johansson and her people for the way that they did the contract negotiations. We saw many people chime in. Obviously, things were looking pretty bad for Disney. And then we found out the Russo brothers walked away from discussions to returning for a big project for Marvel Studios. Most of us assume it's Secret Wars because they've said they want to do it. Kevin Feige said he hopes to do it. Everybody seems to be hinting towards it. So it's probably going to happen and they were probably in discussion to direct that. And probably like a Wolverine movie or something along those lines, which they said they also want to do. So this is no surprise. So everybody's saying, well, now that the lawsuit is over, that they've settled it, that they're renegotiating new contracts and they're working with Scarlet again, it means that the Russo brothers are probably back in the fold. Of course it does. Like, yeah, that's the whole point of getting this over with, restructuring contracts, rewriting them to favor everybody, and getting back to business as normal so everybody can make piles of money. At best, this lawsuit was a small stopgap, and at worst, it was a somewhat bigger stopgap that ultimately didn't matter because... Let's say hypothetically, they get the Russo brothers to direct Wolverine first and then Secret Wars. Wolverine is still, what, three, four years away? So getting that negotiated five months ago or a month ago versus two months from now or now, it doesn't impact anything on the grand scale because they're still going to have plenty of time. It's just locking them down and then telling them, well... This is when you start here, and this is when you're going to do this, so go do whatever you want elsewhere, which we know the Russo brothers are working on a few things. So this would be a lockdown type of manner for them, and I do think that, you know, once everything is put aside and they all just come together, everything will be figured out. They'll lock everything in, and we're going to get a big announcement again of, uh, well, I don't want to say, like, a huge dump of, here's the entire slate for the next six years again, because that was a mistake the first time, but the imminent future and then whatever big project the Russo brothers are coming back for will be one of the highlights because the moment you say it's the people that brought you Endgame and Infinity War people are lining back up for it regardless of what it is so it's smart of course Disney is going to try to get them back as soon as possible because they don't want them jumping over you know and jumping ship to DC because make no mistake there's a hundred percent chance WB went after them